Yeah, Jamie and Kelly, I'm on Madison Street. This is as close as they're going to let me get to that fire. But we did get some pictures sent into us of this fire. And as you can see, this fire is engulfing at least three row homes there. And it's going to be a complete loss for many of these buildings. And this is exactly what the Firefighters Union has been talking about. This is an area that is affected by these shifts in units, by these uh, engines that aren't able to respond to their communities. They're being moved around earlier. We were over at a fire on Edmondson Avenue, and that engine could have been responding within a minute, but it was forced to wait as a medic because it was in that critical alert system. In some cases, the difference in timing of them getting there is three to five minutes. And when the squads do get there, they don't know when backup's going to show up. In Baltimore City, four engines that could be the difference between life and death aren't the first ones getting to fires in their neighborhoods. Today, it went in. It's something the Baltimore City Firefighters Union president brought up to WMAR 2 News on Monday. As I was following up with him, one of those areas had a call. They're located up on Edmondson Avenue, and right down the street from their firehouse, there's a report of a fire. Now, is it something? We don't know. But again, they're out of service when they're critical, and they're not first in on that fire. Luckily, it wasn't anything major. But you could see the firehouse where the engine should have been coming from, from where the fire happened. Instead, the members of the engine had to stand by because they were reassigned as critical alert medic units due to lack of full-time EMTs in the city. That's actually kind of scary because, you know, just knowing you need the fastest response time as possible, especially if you have something like a fire going on, and then for them to come all the way down here, time is of the essence. So something like that, that could really cost somebody's life. In total, four engines were out of service. Two fires where the units could have been there minutes earlier, left to stand by while trucks from miles away at other stations rush into action. Because now we got a different unit coming in and being first in, and these guys are now thinking, Who's my backup? You know, where are they coming from? Because we got all these units out of service. We've, we, we've reached out to the Baltimore City Fires PO to get more information on this fire. We're still working to get that information out to you. But Altieri says that he has talked with uh, Mayor Catherine Pugh before she took that leave of absence and she was receptive to their concerns and they are hopeful that they will be able to talk with new ex officio mayor Jack Young and they have a meeting set up in the coming days to talk about these issues with him. Live in East Baltimore, Eddie Catum, WMAR 2 News.